everyone welcome back to the golf house if you've been here before if you're new welcome I'm so glad you're here I'm Jenny and today I'm gonna show you a quick side dish and it is my cabbage gratin super delicious not a lot to it it's so good let me show you how I make it I have a whole head of cabbage here and I am gonna go ahead and chop it take off any little dark spots here You don't want them chopped huge, but you don't want them chopped super small either. I've already filled a pot over here with water and I've put a little bit of salt in it. I really just want to cook the cabbage a little bit. You don't want to put raw cabbage in a pan with cheese sauce. It won't work out right. My water is not quite boiling yet, but that's okay. I'm just going to put my cabbage in and bring it to a boil. Okay, I got my big cabbage mess here. What the cabbage is going on over there? <laughs> Apparently a big cabbage mess. This is a side dish we're just going to have alongside with dinner. So it goes with literally everything. Okay, everybody's in the hot tub here. I'm going to bring it to a boil and um, I'm going to cook these for about, I don't know, 10 minutes or so. I want to cook them until they're starting to get soft because I don't want water in my cheese sauce and they need to be mainly cooked. Make sure there's no core in there. Okay. As soon as these are cooked, I'll be back. While my cabbage is cooking, I am going to, my oven's ready, I'm preheating my oven to 350 for this, and I'm going to grate up some Jarlsberg. You can use Emmenthayer, which is what I usually use, or you can use Swiss, um, Jarlsberg. If you don't like cheese that is of the Swiss variety, you can certainly use whatever it is you do like. This cabbage would be really good with the, um, the Kerrygold cheese. Or the, or the uh, white cheddar, the Kerrygold white cheddar. If I can open this up. Jarlsberg is one of my faves. And in fact, I buy this big hunk of it over at um, Sam's Club so that I can use this half to make cheese spread. It's that good. And when I make the cheese spread, I think I have a video on it. I made it for my granddaughter's birthday party a few years back. Anyway, shred it in small shred for that cheese dip. Add a little bit of red onion and mayo. Super good. You can do salt and pepper too. I'm going to do a large shred for this. But it's super good. I'll probably need more than this though. I don't think this is gonna be enough. <clears throat> as soon as the cabbage gets done, I'm gonna drain it and let it sit for a little bit until it's dry. You don't wanna put wet cabbage in here. It really waters down the cheese. This is a really good gratin if you can get your um, cabbage good and dry. So large head of cabbage, you're probably going to be looking at a cup and a half-ish cheese. You can make it more cheesy if you want. There's no hard and fast rules. Mm, maybe this will be enough. I'll eyeball it too, so when I'm sprinkling it on, if I need more, I'll grate a little bit more. I'm going to set my cheese to the side. I've got some heavy whipping cream. I am going to put about a cup of heavy whipping cream into a pan to heat it up lightly. I'm not going to put it on high. We're just going to put it on low and start heating it up. I'm going to stick a couple garlic cloves in there 
and just let the cream get garlicky. That's about, about a cup. I just want to incorporate a little bit of garlic flavor, so I'm going to give these two big cloves a whack and drop them in. Okay, I just took the um, peels off of them. I'm going to drop those in. This is going to be the flavor base to the cheese that we're putting in. So I'm going to add my flavors right to this. I might add another half a cup of heavy cream. I'm going to finish this off. And then I'm going to put some salt in here. I'm going to put a pinch of cayenne. Put my heat on. I'm going to turn it on low. Okay, I'm just going to let this come up to heat, not bringing it to a boil. It will change the flavor and it can make your cream bitter. So don't bring it to a boil. Just bring the heat up slowly with your garlic in it, stirring occasionally so that you get the garlic flavor all through there and then later you can strain it out or I'll probably pick it out and then put it through a masher and add it back in just because I hate to waste a good garlic while this is heating up and my cabbage is cooking I'm going to go ahead and butter my 9 by 13 casserole dish to my cabbage I forgot <laughs> I'm going to add in a medium onion you don't have to add an onion if you don't like it or you don't want to but you know it adds really good flavor so I'm going to put that in too You can saute the cabbage um, and then put it in, in the casserole also, which gives the cabbage more flavor. But to be quick, this is usually how I do it. <laughs> okay, I have my buttered dish here. And I'm gonna put down half of this. And you want it kind of in a nine by 13 because then you can spread everything out and get it coated good. and I drained it until it was dry. <laughs> you don't want this wet. And I'm gonna go ahead and salt and pepper this layer. Cabbage needs flavor. Okay, and a layer of cheese. the rest of my cabbage. A little more salt and pepper on this layer of cabbage. Okay, the rest of my cheese is gonna go on top of here. Okay, and here is our heavy cream infused with garlic. I fished one out. Okay, there's the other one. <laughs> okay, like I said, you can um, smash that down and put it right in if you like. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and um, put this into the 350 degree oven, and I'm going to bake this until everything's nice and melty and bubbly and getting golden brown on top. It'll be about 30 minutes-ish. Here is the cabbage gratin. Oh my gosh, so delicious. Okay, I'm gonna dig into this gratin. Super delicious, look at that. Yum. 
cheesy, creamy, super delicious. Are we ready, people? Three, <laughs> two, one. No, I'm ignition. Mm. Oh, wow. It's usually not my bag, baby, but. Mm. Cabbage? Mm. I know, yeah. It's probably much as I'll eat, but. Mmm, very good. How cheesy it is. Mmm. Yeah. Mmm. I'm sure all the husbands say this. This is the best I've ever tasted. It is absolutely the truth. Is it better than when I made it a couple weeks ago? Mm. <laughs> Maybe you can make something ten times. <laughs> the tenth time, it's always better than the first, mm -hmm. second, third, fourth. Mm. Okay, that's all there is to the cabbage gratin. Super delicious. I probably have more cabbage recipes up my sleeve, so stay tuned. Anyway, if you enjoyed the video, please give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. It really helps me out a lot, and I sure do appreciate your support. You can find me on Instagram at JennyGoff18. I'm also on Facebook, and you can visit my blog for all of my recipes, including this one. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.